Hey guys, Brian Lebo here with your September Las Vegas market update video. Well, this has certainly been one of the more exciting, or should I say dramatic, months we've encountered in a long time. Okay, so first we found out that Silverstone Golf Course was privately purchased and then shut down for good. Now you have an entire golf community on the fringe of Las Vegas with no golf course. Then this past week, it was announced that Badlands Golf Course was also purchased by a different buyer, and it too would be closed permanently, so the developer can build homes and condos on the golf course. Now, while Silverstone is on the fringe of Las Vegas, Badlands Golf Course is the nucleus of the upscale guard-gated community of Queensridge. Not that anyone saw this coming, but building homes on a golf course that local celebrities like Andre Agassi and the Fertitta family have $10 million homes on seems just outright insane. I plan on doing separate videos for both communities here in the near future. Meanwhile, let's get back to our normal business. Okay, first up, we always address the foreclosure activity by looking at the notice of defaults. Now, to be frank, nothing provoking has occurred in this department like all year. And even the county recorder's office is like a full month behind. So we don't even know what August totals even look like yet. So suffice to say, it's just not even worth looking at for a while unless some activity actually spikes. Okay, let's check out our current inventory levels. As you can see on the screen, we ended August with 7,604 homes on the market. Now, this was a 2.3% increase over July. Now, we've had five straight months of increasing inventory, which normally isn't a good sign. But realistically, this is exactly what happened last year. And in comparison, our inventory has barely risen much overall. So if this year is like last year, then technically, this month should be our biggest increase in inventory anyhow. Okay, let's talk about sales. Last month, we sold 2,666 homes. This was down 10% from the previous month, but that's supposed to happen this time of year. The better news is that sales overall were up 11% from last year. That now makes three months in a row that we've had sales that are up over 10%. Now that's a great sign. Okay, now for everyone's favorite category, median sales price. As you can see on the screen now, our current median sales price is $217,500. Now, this is a small increase over the previous month, but we're still below our June high of $220,000. Okay, as I've been saying all year, the Las Vegas market is very much divided into two markets. There's the affordable housing market priced under $300,000, and then there's the market over $300,000. On the screen now is a great chart worth pausing to look at real quick. What you really want to focus on though is the ratio of sellers to buyers category. You can see in that column that under $300,000, there's only about two sellers for every buyer. Now as you go up in price towards $600,000, you wind up with five times as many sellers as you have buyers. Considering 57% of the market is priced under $300,000, it tells you that if you're a buyer on the low end, you've got substantial competition. If you're a seller, you should have no problem selling your home. Now, as you go up in price range, it's a completely different story. Buyers can afford to be patient, and sellers need to be more aggressive about marketing their properties to the right buyers. Okay, last, let's talk about UNLV's Lead Institute Housing Report. I found a few statistics pretty interesting, so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. First was the fact that while last year's new home sales were pretty dismal, new home sales are now up 31% over last year. That's pretty massive compared to resale homes, which are only up 1%. Next is the fact that the average new home is now $125,000 more expensive than a resale home. Like most realtors, I thought new homes were overpriced last year, and yet while resale homes went up 9.5% in the past year, new homes have increased 16.2%. That's just crazy to me, but hey. 
So check out this graph. This shows the relationship between new and resale homes going all the way back to 2001. You can see that back then, the price of a new home and a resale home was relatively close. From 2004 to 2006, the prices are almost identical. Now, cut to the present day. The price of a resale home is now the same as it was back in 2004, but meanwhile, new home prices have jumped so much that they're almost right back to peak boom levels. At that rate, new home prices are going up, they'll be right back to boom level pricing by the end of next year. Again, to me, that's just insane, but, so let's wrap this up. There's hardly any foreclosure activity anymore. Our inventory is rising, but very modestly. Sales were up dramatically from last year, and the median price went up, but still trails are high set back in June. Overall, the market seems fairly healthy right now. I'm seeing a big return to fundamentals, meaning homes aren't selling for much more than the last home did, unless it's warranted by a remodel or substantial upgrades. Homes are selling quickly, if they're priced correctly and show well. However, while I think the market is just fine, I think the next month's sales numbers may look pretty bad. August seemed to be a very slow month for activity. Remember, what closes in September went into escrow in August. So for the most part, I think this month's numbers are going to come in a little bit low and potentially reflect a lower median price than this month. Well, that's it for this month, guys. Thank you for watching. Please click here to subscribe and have a fantastic September, everyone.